Hey, what's going on guys? It's Subs here. Welcome back to another video and this is another episode of basically me showing you guys how to get your drift trials uh, completed, getting gold and all that stuff so you guys can get your a million credits or whatever the hell you're going to be getting. Uh, that depends on uh, how many times you've signed in and all that stuff, all the bonus stuff. Anyway, drift trial number 68. Uh, let's go into it. Apparently, we're going to be driving on the Eager or Eiger. I don't know how you pronounce that. Eiger Nordwand K trial drift trial uh but yeah there it is uh you guys probably already know that this is a uh a rally course or a rally track and you're supposed to be using a pre-1990s rally car um if you go into the entry requirements it'll give you a list of the cars that you're gonna have to use um what i've chosen every single one of these cars by the way is a standard car so you can't buy these as a premium car if you don't have this and you obviously can't do it so my suggestion is keep trying to refresh your um, your UCD by doing some races and then coming back and then seeing if you can actually get one of these cars to be there. Um, one thing that I would recommend is that you can tr you should try, if you possibly can, to go for an FR car, okay, for a front engine rear wheel drive car, because that that's what you should be using, you know, when you're doing all these drift trials or drifting events, because it's probably the easiest way to get these done. Now, since this is on the dirt. Um, you know, I think it would be kind of normal if you can use like a four-wheel drive car or even a uh, an MR. But, but yeah, my car of choice here is a 240RS rally car. It's a Nissan 240RS rally car. Uh, and I'm going to go on the track and I'll show you guys uh, what I can do with it. All right, so here we are on the track. And basically this whole way down, you, you're just basically going downhill for the whole drift trial. And um, what your best friend is in this scenario here is the wall. And I'm going to explain to you guys why. Also, your handbrake. Your handbrake is extremely, extremely useful. Obviously, you have to use the brake to slow down because you can't just constantly keep accelerating downhill because that's just stupid. But um, basically, try your best to, you know, figure out where you need to brake and where you need to turn. Um, now, the reason why I said your best friend is the wall is because this isn't like a normal, you know, drift track. You know, you can't just go off the track and you lose your points. You can only lose your points here if you smack off the wall. However, there's a sort of like a little cheat that you can use, which I did. Um, if you drive your car carefully, really, really close to the wall, and you touch off the wall, it doesn't lose, like, you don't lose your points. And if you constantly just drive against the wall, you can kind of go around the corner by just pushing your car against the wall. Um, and uh, obviously, you're going to get a lot of points because you're basically just touching your car off the wall, which means that you're very, very close to the, to the inside line. Um, you know, that's how you usually get your uh, all of your points. Um, but also, you basically go ahead and, uh, you know, you, you, you use the wall to your advantage so you can turn your car around, you know, around the bend or the corner that you're going around. Uh, now, your handbrake is very, very useful here because your handbrake, if, and if you go sideways especially, uh, by the way, that was the first time I've ever done that race and I managed to get into 950 second spot, which I'm pretty impressed with. Um, but I'll come back to, to that in a second. I, I'm going to go and show you guys, basically, I went around a few more times. Uh, just to try and you know go go around a little bit better so I can show you guys what it's what it's like Okay, so here it is in like the third person perspective of the way I went around this track uh, In this this time I managed to get like was it like think it was like fifteen thousand and five points and um, It was actually a pretty good run and as you can see here I use I use the handbrake a lot like when I went downhill there uh, about halfway through I pressed the handbrake and I kept I, I just kept my finger on the handbrake and I basically just slid down the hill and that's how I got like that 900 and whatever 46 points was. I did not accelerate at all. I didn't brake at all. I just used the handbrake and I just slid down sideways. Um, now here at, at this corner here, um, you kind of have to go a little bit fast. And then midway, you're going to have to pop the handbrake and just keep it like just hold the handbrake all the way down. Um, again, I think you can only have to like me explaining this to you is decent. But the only way you can do it is by keep practicing. So I guess just go out and practice so you don't have to be able to get it in the first go. You, you can try this as many times as you want. Um, but uh, yeah, just go around on the track. Try to do your best. If you're going to go around with a four-wheel drive car, make sure you put your uh, torque distribution to the back wheels. Try to make it as much of a rear-wheel drive car as you can. Um, I know it will reduce basically the grip and the handling capabilities of a four-wheel drive car on the dirt track, but um, yeah, as you can see there, I managed to go on, what was it, like 513th place or something, um, but yeah, if you put your car to a rear-wheel drive, it's easier for you to slide it down the hill and then to accelerate and kick the back out and do all that stuff. 
So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. But yeah, that's about it for me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.